Virgo, this is your tarot reading for the entire year of 2024. Uh, because it's for a full year, I'll be dealing with big issues. I suspect you're heavily influenced by what has happened in the world. And of course, tarot isn't really about fortune telling. It's about tapping into your psychology, both the known, the conscious and the unknown. And I believe that global events have had an impact, certainly on your subconscious. So these will be probably be coming to the fore in this reading. Now, it's for a year. If you want monthly readings, I do monthly readings. I sometimes even do daily readings. Uh, but I'm not an astrologer. So therefore, I don't give precise dates. So I'll only be talking about beginning of the year, end of the year, middle of the year. No, no more than that, really, because of time is a man-made construct. So how can the paranormal be really specific about time? Uh, by the same token, I want to say that I'm certainly not consciously channeling. All I do is I meditate a lot and as a result I'm able to read tarot cards and come up with what I consider interesting stories. I hope you'll find it interesting too. I write in 2024 it's characterised by you hanging around looking at the lie of the land before you act and that does seem to suggest that you are being influenced shaped by global events another indication of that is in the past we have the tower energy your world came tumbling down seemingly everything was destroyed and all that you can do is rebuild but certainly early in 2024 things are characterized by an unhealthy attachment or an addiction Nevertheless, later on, you either go in search of money or I think some money does come to you. And certainly you have been, whilst you're hanging around and looking at the lie of the land, you have been planning things, you've been looking at your options, looking at different things. Maybe even quite radical, maybe even overseas options. And that would lead to you moving with great pace. Um, sometimes this energy is too rushing. But if you've been hanging around and working things out, maybe I shouldn't read that into it. Certainly it's with great bravery and with... Um, yeah, bra bravery and fearlessness, yeah. Uh, what would change the outcome is you do feel an incredible burden. You feel like you're carrying the burden of the world. And maybe this is related to that tower, you know, everything coming tumbling down and it's left you with many things that you need to do. Now, at this stage, I can't say if the outcome of you are rushing bravely towards doing things is good or bad. So I can't say which energy you should go with, uh, but we'll certainly get to that as we go through this, this uh, spread for you. And as I say, what characterises this, well, the year really, and runs throughout all the other energies, is that of you hanging around waiting to see the lie of the land and I think we're all doing that to a certain degree we know the world has changed we know that it's continuing to change but we don't quite know how I mean most of us are aware of central bank digital currencies I was told by the security guard at a bank in Jakarta that ATMs were going to stop dispensing cash and I think we're all trying to work out what on earth that means for us. Particularly if you live in a country like Indonesia where there simply isn't the infrastructure 
for central bank digital currencies to work. And also mindful that that didn't stop them using an app to restrict our movements during the health crisis, even though it didn't work in much of Indonesia. And even where it did work, it didn't seem to do its job. So, you know, we're all hanging around, waiting to see what we should do, what's the best thing. We're all searching for how to shape our lives in the future. And so I don't see this as a bad energy at all. And I have to say, by the end of 2024, you do move out of this hanging around. So you do seem to have grasped something. Whether or not it's the right thing, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. In the past, and I don't know if it's related to global events. I suspect it is, but it might be entirely personal. But we have the energy of the tower your world comes tumbling down. The tower is normally a, well, a necessary thing. I, I nearly said positive and I don't want to say that. It's normally a necessary thing. It means that your world has been built or your life has been built on the, the wrong foundations and you need to rebuild your life on better foundations, on something new. And I think that's what you're searching for now, which is why I see this hanging around as entirely positive. I'm sure this, you know, everything coming to an end has impacted on you greatly, impacted on your psychology. And we're picking up on this in this reading. Uh, but I, I, I see quite a lot of hope in this reading as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to dwell on it, but it's certainly something traumatic in the past. Now I am concerned that this destruction of your life as it were has had a negative effect on you psychologically uh, because we now have the energy of the devil addictions or unhealthy attachments. I mean a good many people during the health crisis developed alcoholism, addictions to narcotics, etc. Uh, I don't know if that's what I should read into this. In fact, I don't think it is. I think it's much more about you dwelling too much on what has happened, thinking over in your mind of what has happened, and allowing the past to dictate the future. Maybe too much inside your head about what's gone on. I mean, there could be an actual addiction here. There could be. But I'm not too certain that that's what it is. I, I, I've, I've got the feeling it's... Yeah, you know, I've said it's not a bad thing to be hanging around, but maybe it's completely stymied you. And you're just going over in your mind again and again. What has happened? Why did this happen? How did it happen? Yeah, that's more of the feeling I'm getting. And I suspect there's some good news in 2024. It looks as though new wealth is coming to you. And the tower probably did take away your some of your wealth at the very least uh, but it looks as though new money's coming to you you probably went out searching for it you probably actually created these opportunities but nevertheless i'm sure it's it's going to be very very welcome because i can feel the sort of anguish and tension within these energies that are certainly playing on your mind so this will be a relief. Now, you know, I did prefix everything about central bank digital currencies and 
ATMs no longer dispensing money. So I don't know if I should even talk of money in terms of which we, that we know it. But it's wealth, you know, it's... it's Let's not take away any shine from this energy. It's a, it's a good energy. Now, I, I did suggest that this sort of stymied, you being stymied and hanging around waiting to act, wasn't entirely positive. Well, the positive side of it is you are planning. You are scanning the environment. You're thinking, what can I do? And so I think you are looking for positive things that you can do, positive ways that you can act. And I, I think they're quite radical. They might even involve moving away or even going overseas. You've certainly got these ideas in your head to do something fairly, fairly brave, fairly radical. And, you know, maybe we should all be a bit more like that. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, you're, definitely, you're definitely thinking about things that are very different. Which has to be a better sign than this sort of devil energy. You know, this, this unhealthy attachments. Now that planning leads to the outcome whereas what would change the outcome is the energy of feeling that you're carrying a burden shouldering a burden struggling and undoubtedly that comes from the tower that you know your world collapsing around you undoubtedly you've struggled as a result but why I can't decide and, and maybe either way is is equally good or equally bad what i can't decide is whether you should be planning or, or dealing with this burden uh, because the thing about this energy is that it's nearly ended and if you know that things have nearly ended maybe you don't need such radical radical options uh, the worry i have you see is that if you look at all that's said about financial markets, and, and please, I'm the last person to come to for advice on this sort of thing. But when you look at all the advice we get on financial markets, I'm certain it's to drive people into things like a Bitcoin and gold. And I, I am absolutely certain that both markets are, are rigged and Bitcoin, what do they call Bitcoin? What's the generic name for it? You know, it's digital currencies, but there's another name, isn't there? I can't think of it. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. I, I can't see any utility in it whatsoever. You know, it's it to my mind, it's just like betting. I'm not saying people can't get rich from it. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that... I'm certain that the scaremongering, the fear, is to drive the unprofessional investor into what are probably very risky options. Why am I going on about risky financial options because it, it might have got nothing to do with finance you know or investment uh, well you see the outcome is an outcome of bravery fearless which you know are wonderful and given that you've been hanging around I, i'm sure you have looked into things but it's very fast moving and it's an outcome that often is about rushing into things rushing into things and making mistakes so that's the worry I have now as I say I'm, I don't want to give too strong a warning on this in as much as you know you, you have been hanging around you have been planning you have been thinking about it 
So, you know, if you've been hanging around for a long time and you're really sure, then, of course, you would rush into things, wouldn't you? You know, so I don't want to lay it on too thick. I think we need a bit of clarity, particularly clarity on this unhealthy attachments. And, yeah, I, I seek clarity on... The devil card, these unhealthy attachments. What are they? First we have is the Nine of Pentacles, which is about blessings, about wealth, but being alone. The next card we have is the Nine of Wands, which is about, it is about looking at the past. It is about looking at the past. And the final card we have is the full card. I don't think I need to say any more, do I? We'll look at each individually. Now, this energy, the Nine of Pentacles, is, is normally a beautiful card, but remember, it's clarifying your atta unhealthy attachments. It's a beautiful card because it's about multiple blessings, particularly monetary or wealth blessings. Uh, but he, he tends, he or she tends to be by themselves. Um, normally I see it as, as not a bad, well, a very good card, a lovely card, you know. And it's often followed by somebody wanting to share their wealth. But remember, this is about unhealthy attachments. So I think this tower, you did lose some of your wealth. And you've been preoccupied with replacing it. And it's become something of a compulsion of yours to replace the money lost. Now it does look like you're going to replace it, so I, I shouldn't say that it's a bad thing. But having any sort of attachment like this isn't good so you know I, I think your mind has been preoccupied how am I going to replace the money I lost instead of thinking how am I going to fulfill my obligations and needs <laughs> card I think does help to confirm what my view and that is we have this nine of wands and the nine of wands is a card of reflection thinking of the past and it, it, it can be positive it can be saying look I've had to deal with problems in the past and I've overcome them you know I, I, I've got through these things in the past and that's the positive side of it but the negative side of it is saying, oh, um, gosh, I've had so many problems in the past. Maybe the future's going to be like that as well. So, you know, it, uh, it, could, be, it could go either way, but I'm pretty certain what he's saying is you're dwelling too much in that tower moment of what had happened. And that can only lead to another tower, you know, so... Yeah, not a good thing. And the final card is the full card. Which is going off on a new journey with a wide-eyed innocence. And that would suggest that the outcome, you charging off in a rush, is, is the wrong outcome. But remember, this is only giving us clarity on your unhealthy attachment. So it would be taking it too far, but it is adding further concern in my mind about is this the right direction that you're taking? Uh, you know, yeah, well, the, fool, the name The Fool says it all because it is a wide-eyed innocence, but it's, it's not really knowing what you're doing. So I think there is that potential in 2024. 
like I said, I don't want to lay it on too thick because you have had plenty of time to think about it. But if you've been thinking about the wrong things, then you will head off in the wrong direction. Virgo, I've no doubt that you've been affected by world events and that they've had a deeply psychological effect on you. Um, I'm pretty certain that your world came tumbling down. It probably involved a loss of money. And you've become somewhat preoccupied with thinking about it. Thinking about how am I going to replace the money? Thinking about, oh my God, how did this happen? Is it going to happen again? Uh, but also, there's a sort of a compulsion to do something about it. To rush off without thinking fully and that's a bit of a contrast because you are hanging around looking at the lie of the land before you act uh, but I'm worried that you're going through the same things in your mind again and again now I might be wrong on that I might be wrong on that because not only you're hanging around looking at the lie of the land you are doing some planning uh, but I think that planning is for something radically different um, certainly when you do act, you're going to act with great bravery, fearlessness, and great speed. Well, you know, if you've been hanging around waiting to do something, then moving with speed when you're sure is no bad thing. I, I've just got a concern that you're moving into something equally risky to that which brought about your downfall in the past. Uh, what would change it is to focus more on what you've got to do in the present. And undoubtedly, you know, you're carrying an extra burden. Undoubtedly, you're finding it a struggle. Uh, but if you were to think it through just a little bit more, you'd realise that these things are coming to an end. You might realise that everything is cyclical and that cycle uh, that has caused these problems for you is ending and there is hope just around the corner now having said all that i i don't want to get be too strong on saying don't go for this course of action because it does look like there's new money coming to you it, or at least new wealth coming to you so you know maybe i've got it entirely wrong and you should grab at these things that you've been planning and you do know what you're doing better than I'm giving you credit for. So, can I advise you? Maybe not. <laughs> you know, maybe I'm just telling you about the energies that are there playing on you in 2024. And one of them is to recognise that things change, change and just get on with what you're doing. And the other is to do something quite radical about it. And I think it's entirely up to you, Virgo. You know, uh, the negative in this reading is that you are dwelling on the loss. You are dwelling on what has happened to you. I think we all would, you know. Well, we're all dwelling on what on earth has happened over the last four or five years, aren't we? So, you know, I can understand it, but that's the negative. But... How you react, I think, is up to you.